Okay, so in this demo, we're going to provide a, a brief, uh, basic introduction to uh, to Gradle, which is our new build system. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll, we'll start by creating a um, simple Hello World style project. So, we start off with the project structure, which begins with project name, and then under there we have the source. And we follow the same convention that you may have noticed with the with, with Maven. So, we're going to stick with that going forward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start hacking away our code. All right, so there's our uh, simple uh, Hello World project. Now, with a project this size, um, you may be tempted just to do this the old way, and uh, and that's fine. But obviously, using Java C and uh, and the the basic tools quickly grows out of hand when you start dealing with more and more files and more complex projects and project interdependencies and, and whatnot. So we're going to actually use Gradle, and actually the uh, the barrier to entry for using Gradle is very, very, uh, uh, very, very low. So even actually going forward, I'd be tempted, even had something as simple as this, I would be tempted to use Gradle even even for this. So um, we go back into our top level here, and if I if I type Gradle from here, it's it's not going to do anything for me. It needs like all build systems, there needs to be some kind of a um, uh, make file or build file or, or whatever. So in the case of uh, uh, Ant, that would be the build XML file. In, in Maven, it's the POM XML. Uh, Gradle is no different. You need to give it the, uh, the ingredients and the, the method on what to, what to build. And that is in the form of a file called build.gradle. Now, this is what kind of sets Gradle apart is um, they have a plugin called Java that makes it very efficient to uh, get it going quickly with a Java-based project. So that plugin gives me immediately access to a bunch of uh, built-in tasks. Um, so I'm, all I need to do for this very simple project is just apply that plugin. And when I run Gradle minus tasks, okay, we can see just by stirring in that plugin, we have a bunch of build tasks that all of a sudden have kind of cropped up out of nowhere. So we have the ability to build, to build a jar, to run tests, uh, clean and so on. So let's, without further ado, let's build it using Gradle. I'm going to use Gradle jar. Okay. And uh, a little bit different to Maven, by default, the plugin will dump all of its build artifacts under the directory called build. And um, whereas Maven, I think it was under, under target. So on the build, you will find. The classes uh, and and the uh, <coughs> the libs. So under libs, we'll find hello jar. So let's run it. And there it is. And what else can we do if we clean it? It goes away. So when you check into Subversion, make sure you run a clean, and we're back to just the uh, the, the pure source. Um, we can test it. So Gradle test. Now, obviously, we don't have any uh, JUnit test cases right now. I would expect to find those on the source slash uh, test. There are no tests, but if there were, it would also create JUnit report under build reports. Under tests, 
and there's the uh, index HTML there. You bring it up in your browser and you see what kind of tests we're on. Obviously, the zero tests, but we get all this uh, 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 infrastructure for, for free. And okay, so now we can build it, we can run it, uh, we can test it, and the next step will be to debug it. So ordinarily, we wouldn't do that on the command line. We would uh, fire up an ID such as Eclipse. So let's go ahead and I need to store in another plugin. So there is another plugin called Eclipse, which gives me a couple of other targets now where I can generate Eclipse projects. Okay, so if I go Gradle minus tasks now, here we are, ID tasks, and there's the target there. So Gradle Eclipse. And there it's generated the dot project and dot class path uh, in the, the top level project folder and they can then import uh, an existing project into Eclipse and test it and debug it within uh, within Eclipse, which is the right way to go. Um, and that concludes this demo, thanks.